Okay, I think there might be something I can get the white sand cake. Yeah, yeah. So I need still need to kill nearby stuff. Oh, here we go. Life elixir. Just by double jumping. Yeah, and now I should run to a different area. Look for any more things I might have missed. Alright, let's check out this part. Oh shit, there's a bunch of primordials I have to run past, huh? Ah! Okay, save and reload just in case they can follow me up here. I don't want to fuck with them. Okay, now I can hopefully explore this area at my leisure. I'm still scared there's gonna be something lurking around the corner. Kind of tower? I don't suppose there's a crystal here? Seems to be some thing, uh, some kind of question mark point. Seriously, sometimes enemies don't show up on the map. They'll just pop out of n nowhere from some great big alternate dimension. Yep, another one of those. One of those <laughs> points where I have to ask for help. Um, there's a chest nearby. Hmm. I can't see it. it must be above or something. Yeah, let's go check out the vines. Maybe they'll lead me to something new. I don't see any enemies. Here, maybe? Yes, there's a chest. Sorry and scale. Those are rare. Um, what else could possibly be here? Hmm. Is there anything over it on that part? Can I actually jump over there? I don't know. Okay, I did not notice these vines here. Maybe these will take me to the chest that I want to find. Ah, that was close. Okay, how close am I? Right. That platform down there is a decoy. The real one is up here. Um, how do I jump to it? Right. Um, is it there? Right. This one also seems to be a fake. Yes. Right. Let's keep going up. Bolt Bracelet! Maybe this protects me from... No, this would allow me to inflict Paralyze, wouldn't it? Look at this, we're so high up now, and we have all the treasure in this area. Now we have to go investigate the tower. Hey, can I land on that platform? Oh! No! 
Oh, I was so close. Yeah, this huge pile of gravel is not going to be cleared anytime soon. Maybe it'll lead to a new dungeon? Hmm, where do we go next? Probably to the main story. I don't know if I'm ready to even take on those primordials, though. Hmm. I think I forgot to talk to you last time. I'm making a dish of tons of vegetables for Allison. But she doesn't have an appetite. I hope she feels better soon. Hmm. Also, I managed to kill one of those prim level 56 primordials off screen. They don't actually have a lot of defense, but they do hit harder than Giga Tyranus. So if you get hit, you're pretty much going to have to use a ripe fruit. Seriously, why are they so overpowered? It's ridiculous. Okay, we have to go along Horn Coast according to the guide. See, I have a new firecracker skill due to fighting those high level primordials. Might have learned it a bit earlier than I should have. Okay, there's supposed to be a secret. Yeah, I have to go all, uh, all the way to the south there. Whoa. Damn it, everything has way too much wind up with you. Ah. Uh, fuck. Uh. Yeah, I just got to run. Holy shit. Run. Why are there so many crabs? Oh well, we're safe up here. Alright, next area. Save point. Oh no, it's those things. The ones that have to wait. Uh, uh, the ones that have to pop out of the ground for me to actually hit them. Nostalgic cape. Hmm. They're higher level than before. Shit. One of those giant starfish enemies, only stronger and purpler. Oh, come on, he didn't pop out of the ground. Guess we're not allowed to wander too far. Uh, starfish. How do I beat it? Random status effects, holy shit. But it recovers so quickly from all of them. Okay, now it's dead. Totally not worth it, just wanted to get the best area entry. Seems to have a similar move set, but one hit would kill me. So I'm not, so I don't want to, I can't, I'm too scared to attack directly. 675, yeah, that's way too high. That's like primordial tier.
Seriously, Inferno, definitely a mistake. A chest? Bait times five. Any good fishing spots? Yeah, they're kind of close to the enemies, so that's a little worrying. It's also my chance to get new fish. Question is, can I actually throw my lure that far? Yes, I can. Just don't be an enemy fish. I'm so sick of those. They're not always worth it. It's an enemy fish! Or no, it's just a dinky, useless fish. I have to clear some of these... These undergrounders off. Whoa! That was close. Ooh, they're way faster than their uh, weaker kid than those previous ones. <sighs> Any more fish within my reach? Here we go. What's fighting today? No, I'm gonna have to kill the others. So many. There we go. I can catch this one here. I hope there's a safer spot for me to do this. Why can't I get good fish? Ah, oh, come on! How are they? Hold, how are they aiming so well? Holy shit! I need to retreat. Damn it! There goes all my progress. Okay, I managed to recover myself a bit. Hmm. So many nasty things out there. Fruit tree somewhere around here. Hmm. Oh crap, a, a nest. Yeah. Coming. Damn it. If only you had better. I really don't know what the best skill for you to use is. My turn now! Ah, uh, this is so dangerous. Surrounded hopelessly. Let's go, uh, I just want to get close enough to that damn nest to kill it. I should have Pummel for this one. Oh, come on! Even when I sprint, I, I can barely... Ow. That was painful. Very painful. Totally not worth it just to kill a fucking nest. Okay, let's continue exploring a bit. Something to the south here. New location. Ship graveyard. Oh, there's a bunch of fishing spots here too. I should probably save here since there aren't too many enemies that can see me in this spot. 
Yeah, that'll be a good idea. Save and fish until I get something new. I see a big fish there. I hope it's a new one. How, how close do I have to be for you? Damn. I don't want to get too close to those enemies. What's fighting today? What's fighting today? I hope the enemy doesn't try to kill me while I'm fishing. That would be tragic. There we go. Death perception is difficult here. Ah! Oh man. This is going great. Intense. Put up a fight. I hate the ones where I have to hold both buttons at once. That takes more m motor skills than just spinning my stick. That's right, Adol, don't give up. It's a little more. So close. This is going great. Oh, that's a golden one. We did it. Nebul Nebulo Brim. Ooh, that was intense. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get to safer areas before the enemy sees us. Oof, that was intense. Uh, uh. Save. I don't think I'm going to make that big a catch again for at least a few dungeons. Okay, there's a shining point near here that could catch my interest. Roman badge. Oh no. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Alright, let's get going. Oh man. Bunch of enemies will have to run past. Oh crap, that thing respawned? Seriously? Son of a bitch. Uh. Um. Which way am I supposed to go? Hey, there's more fishing spots here. There's a cave here, but are we supposed to go in there yet? Seems like a good fishing spot. Hmm. There's apparently a, a save point right at the entrance, so let's just go mark it off for the sake of convenience. checking out yeah let's do that later first let's just do everything else we need to do on the cape that was just for the sake of convenience convenient save point yes for now we just need to concentrate on nostalgia cape Okay, we have 20 people. That's way more than 16. Okay, I'm gonna start on it. Roger. Oh. Are, are the people chosen for the quotes always randomized? That's what it seems like. There seems to be someone up there, but who could it be? Oh. 
I'm pretty sure the East Shore Cape is part of the story, so yeah, definitely do this part first. A campfire. Pumpkins, those are actually pretty decent for healing, surprisingly enough. It's a shame we don't have any seeds for it yet. And someone set up a campfire here. S sadly, they did not set up a save crystal, but there's already a crystal in that cave, so it's good enough. Those look like the type of flowers we need to deliver. I've never seen this kind of flower before. It's so beautiful. Purple and bell shaped. Is this? Yes, this is the purple bell flower. Yeah, glad we found them. Oof, there we go. Mm, someone's here. You're. Ah, finally, other survivors. Were you on board the Lombardia, Lombardia too? Adol quickly explained the situation, then told the man about Castaway Village. So everyone is banding together. Is Allison there too? You must be her husband. Oh, so you know her name. You know Allison? Is she safe? Is she healthy? Settle down a little. He probably knows she's pregnant. Yes, we still don't know your name. I'm sorry, I haven't introduced myself. Ed. My name is Ed. I'm Allison's husband. I'm also a tailor. Anyway, can you please take me to my wife? And that's how Adol met Ed. Adol explained Allison's condition, and they all returned to the village after picking some purple bell flowers. Good thing we went to that cave first. Now we can instantly teleport back to that location and easily farm pumpkins. Allison, I'm so sorry I worried you. I was doing everything I could to try to find you, but... Ed washed up on the eastern side of the island. With so many vicious beasts roaming the area, he couldn't move very far. I'm so happy you're okay. So, so happy. Allison. Oh, that's right. I managed to find purple bell flowers on this island. I wanted to bring you some, so I stayed near a spot where they were blooming. And because of that, Owl and the others were able to find me. I'll put some in the vase and bring them to you. He. Allison? I'm just happy you're finally here. You always worked so hard for me. I'm so grateful. No, I haven't done anything. Ah! Elson! Ah! Oh no, it's time! Feeling relieved from seeing her husband, Elson's condition took a sudden turn. Though sooner than expected, she had gone to labor. A few hours later... I don't suppose this... Uh, uh, this baby will count towards our... Uh, obstacle clearing team. Congratulations, it's a boy. Our son. He's... he's beautiful. Allison, you did great. You did just great. <laughs> mm, oh, darling, you're crying more than the baby right now. Is our baby okay, Doctor? Yes, he's slightly premature, so he is a little underweight. But other than that, he doesn't seem to have any health issues. I'm honestly shocked. This is nothing short of a miracle. Thank you, everyone. I couldn't have done this without you. No, we didn't do anything. Huh, <laughs> all's well that ends well. But wait, is it okay if I make him my little brother? Huh, <laughs> of course. Yay, I'm a big sister now. We got an emergency! What? Beast raid incoming! Oh, come on! Wait, what a moment! Man, those beasts picked the worst possible time to show up. Hmm, a swift punishment is in order. 
Dr. Licht, please stay with Allison and Ed. Understood. Time to eat a bunch of ripe fruit just trying to survive and barely get A rank, if I'm lucky. If you're fighting off a beast raid, then please let me help you. I need to do my part to protect my wife and son. Let's beat those beasts. Of course. Lead the way. That's a wrap. Ed joined Castaway Village. I'll show those beasts just how dangerous a father can be. I swear, I will protect my family. Oh man, this is a mandatory raid, isn't it? Imagine... Yeah, so due to the beast raid, there's no time to upgrade the stock here, is there? Well, before I start the raid, I might as well talk to everyone here and see if there's anything new. He's a sweetest baby, just so adorable. I'm really glad. I'll show those beasts just how dangerous a fire can be. I swear I will protect my family. Ed's not the best at fighting, but he's very enthusiastic about it. <laughs> I'm glad he's so open. Given his interest, all I can do is encourage him. How are all these NPCs fighting? Are they just grabbing s uh, 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 bludgeons or something? Maybe uh, swords and spears? Or maybe they're shooting cannons? Ah, oh, shit. I think my, something's wrong with my headset. Okay, I had to reinstall the firmware in my headset. Yeah, this is kind of annoying. I have no idea what happened. I'm so glad Allison is, was able to give birth safely. Don't misunderstand or anything. I wasn't crying over it. I'm the infamous merchant Dina. I don't negotiate with my emotions. Come on, stop wasting time and go get rid of the beast. Hey, welcome! We need to get more ripe crew berry. This one is special. Oh, done already? Okay, what you, you're on. Everyone's been briefed on the strategy. Looks like they're all spoiling for a fight this time. <laughs> Just so long as they don't get careless. Roman Badge. I can probably give that to him later. I know I'm not telling you anything new, but strength alone won't win you any battles. <laughs> Just so long as my no one gets careless. I'm just gonna spam revive items. I just give up on getting S rank these days. It's impossible. At least for me. Dogi is over here with Kafu. Hmm, we must win this spell for the new life that was just born here. Let's combine our power and give those beasts the wet for. The smile on Allison's face. I'm really glad she safely gave birth. Uh, I came here to pick her herbs so I'll help Allison to recover from childbirth quicker. Don't worry, I'll make sure to watch over Allison. Alright, Adol, let's go t go take care of the beast. What do you need? Do I need anything new? No. Please take care. Probably use up one of my remedies if I can find it. So hot levels up slowest. Hmm, I should probably rearrange my team before the raid as well. Strange. Even a guy like me felt the need to protect that child. Strange. They're interrupting a birth. Those beasts have deplorable timing. No matter, I'll slice up anything in our way. Come at us any way you like, beasts. A baby's hands are so small. But they're warm and strong. I'm definitely going to protect him. Huh, he may be Rakota's little brother, but to me he's more like my grandson. Anyway, nothing beats a good time. Let's take care of these beasts and make things peaceful again. Aw, oh, baby, he's so cute. Alright, let's protect the village for the baby's sake. Yes, of course. You're going to fight hard too, right? 
course. I knew it. That's our idol. Yes, whether it's a beast or a primordial, let's fend them off. Primordials. Also, how do uh, how do the Eternians give birth? Do they use eggs or do, are they like humans in that regard? Bro, they are supposed to be part dinosaur. I can't believe I helped a woman deliver a child. I can't even describe it. It was rather touching. Anyway, let's do our best to get rid of those beasts. It's not strange for a woman to begin a new chapter of her life. Eh, let's protect the village for the baby's sake. Hooray, Adol! Hooray, baby! Allison delivered. Baby delivered. Everyone happy. I'm happy. I never thought a child would be born in this island. I gotta admit, I've never been a part of something so emotional before. Let's go. We need to do whatever we can to keep Allison and her baby safe. Even if it means spamming all my ripe fruits. Yes, I feel like this is what the game is trying to teach you. Make sure to eat your fruits, or you will die horribly. Remember to eat your fruits and veggies, or a primordial will bite your head off. I'm not getting as much from the crops anymore. The baby was born healthy. Whew, I'm glad. We have to protect him. We're his brothers, after all. I'm a big brother now, so I have to be strong. I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna do this. Shoe bill. I can give you a new fish. This one is huge. It's probably bigger than Dogi. Shoe bill opened her mouth wide and gulped down the fish in one swallow. She looks very satisfied. Big Pearl, not very exciting. Okay, at least I can still teleport to other places, but I don't imagine I can get very far in the story without doing this raid. Is there anything on the quest for- wait, I forgot to talk to you again, artist man. I received word that Allison bore her child without a trace of incident. Truly, this is wonderful news. Such news serves only to inflame an artist's soul. Come, let's be done with the spite th that I may set about my creative endeavors. Okay, anything new on the quest board? No. Hope I didn't miss any quests. Alright, we'll, we'll see if Kafu has anything. Hold on a second, I still need to prep the materials. Ugh, damn primordials, if I never see them again, it'll be too soon. There's still so much work to be done on the ship, we can't lose here. Now with everyone's help, we can protect the village. Can't lose here, it's my duty as a crewman of the M Lombardia to protect the village. What do you want to enhance? Hmm, should I really go for the stun gong? I mean, I did manage to farm up a few ancient bones from fishing. Roger, give me a second. All finished. But I can't really upgrade anything else. Essence Panzer is way too hard to get to. Hmm. Switch! Situation! Keep 
Shit, there's too many! It's a strong start I wanted. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Okay, now I'm, nice. I can, I'm, I'm fine with getting hit. I wanted to at least get good on the first wave. Don't get cocky. Holy shit, how many of you guys are there? Shit! This is the worst! Seriously, how the fuck are, am I supposed to deal with everything at once? Oh my god! Uh. Shit. How am I supposed to deal with constant one-hit kills? Ow. Now I even got borrow with S rank, damn it, this is too hard. I just wanted to get good in the first wave just to at least get A rank. Don't let your card down. Let's go! Battle report! Battle report! Yeah. Doki squad, pull back! My turn now! Ah! Shit, I can't deal with all this garbage. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to deal with all this garbage? Are you kidding me? There's too many of them! Ugh. I don't think one of them got away. Finally, some good action. Holy shit, that went horribly. We already lost two barricades. Are you kidding me? Let's 
Oh, I flash guarded somehow. Paralyzed me somehow. There's too many of them. Holy shit. Damn it. This is so frustrating! How is anyone supposed to win the get S rank here? Uh, you know what? Food effects don't give a fuck. Shit, really? can't do anything because they just put in a bunch of these guys. This is really stressful. Oh, shit. Fuck me. That was horrible. Why? I lost all my barricades, but all my lures survived? How the hell does that work? Ugh, that was terrible. Pathetic. Ugh. Fuck these raids. The way they throw in so many giant ass monkeys in the end. Why did that count as an S rank? I went over the time limit too. I didn't. I only have a nine percent kill rate, and I lost more barricades. It's probably because I kept all my lures. Somehow my lures stayed at pretty healthy. Huh? Weird. No, the enemies all just all went after the barricades. They barely even touched the base itself. I don't know how I managed that. Sometimes it's some stages are easier despite being higher level. It's really weird. Thunder Claw, no Essence Panzer. Hero Cloak, that's gonna be an interesting one. Oh, that hurts so much, but it's over. Fuck those primordials. 
Fuck those gorillas. Plus 100, I must have killed a lot. Even with that defense boost, I'll still get one shot at it. It could be good for just for traveling, but hmm. At all. I'm interested in learning how ships are built in this era. It's so new to me. Everything is manual labor and done in such a clever manner. It's amazing. I have a habit of exaggerating. Uh, I remember getting scolded for being too curious about new things. Um, do you mind if I help a bit, little bit? Should I just carry this wood? Okay, here goes. Cool, thanks for your help, we were able to survive that. Th thanks for the help, Adol. If you want, take this with you. Seriously, how did I get S rank on this one, but not the previous ones? I don't think they were pro maybe they weren't that well balanced, who knows. I still need to get... I'm pretty sure at least one of these will give me... The Spirit Elixir. Was it... Which one was it? Was it either this... Was it Primordial Struggle or Creeping Beast of Yore? Hmm. Well, we'll get back to it someday when I'm super over-leveled. Dogi, does this go over here? Yeah, can you put it down on the right? Yes, with pleasure. Donna is helping me. I appreciate it, but... Is she for real? Don't tell me that she's stronger than I am. Well, she is an Eternian. Even the, the smallest Eternian is stronger than the biggest human, I guess. What? Donna surprised me before, but this is on a whole other level. I heard Eternians were really strong, but that's just incredible. Think of how strong Eternian men must have been. They really are a different species, I guess. And even they struggle to tame primordials. Donna surprised me before, but this is on a whole other level. Gah, that was terrible. One shot's everywhere. Huh, <laughs> Donna is such a nice girl. Despite her small frame, she's strong. She helped me carry all my ingredients the other day. She needs to work on her cooking skills, but she shows a lot of ambition. I wonder if she would marry one of my sons. Hmm, that would certainly continue the Eternian bloodline. You are being reckless again. You always get carried away. This might be sting lol. Huh, you're being super doctory today and it makes you look cool. Yep, yep, Dr. Licht has grown. Uh, I'm still learning. But doctor, huh? Thank you, Quina. Addressing myself as doctor is a little hasty on my part, but uh, it doesn't feel so bad when everyone calls me that. I used up all my ripe crew berries. Seriously. When it comes to the mass and sale, here's what you do. Oh, I get it. I couldn't tell with just the blueprint as reference. But won't this take a lot of time? The deck's going to need work too. Yes, I actually wanted to talk to you about that. Man, I'm not a shipwright. Alright, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I really appreciate your help. Is everyone in the village treat workers like shit? I'll do whatever I can, but don't expect miracles. I'm glad he's willing to help me. He comes off as a little scary, but he's a pretty dependable sort. I'm not meant to ponder this, but... Have I truly made a material contribution to Castaway Village? Obviously, I've assisted in the raids and hunts. However, it does seem that everyone else also shoulders a separate burden. True, I'm an artist beyond compare, but art neither quells hunger nor fills the stomach. And it takes a certain level of familiarity with the concepts to even appreciate my work. I should like to find some role in Castaway Village, one to which I am uniquely suited. But hmm, what might that be? After a raid, I thought perhaps I might paint. But the urge to paint eludes me when I feel as I do currently. I should like to find a role in the village. Hmm. I feel like Allison giving birth has strengthened the bond between everyone in Castaway Village. I'm not really that type of girl, but it kind of moved me. Okay, anything else? I need to get more of these. This one is it's gonna take forever to farm them all back. Hey, welcome. This game is just too hardcore. Oh, done already? 
No quests available. Uh, these pickles are downright delectable. Where do you get them from? I pickled them myself. Is that right? Why, well, I'm not too confident in my cooking abilities. A teacher helped me. Hmm, a teacher. Oh, I understand. Your transporter mentor? Looks like there's more to it. Well, I'm not one to pry. But these pickles. They have an, a homemade flavor bursting with love. I hope you keep that teacher of yours close. Yeah. These pickles are great. Uh, Hummel is something else. Adol, he enjoyed the pickles. Good. Hmm, the primordial research is going well. This island might be a researcher's sanctuary. What I don't understand is... Eternians believe in the, that the Great Tree of Origins was in existence that stimulated evolution. Their civilization was highly developed and they were able to influence evolution. I wonder what led them to that interpretation. It's quite mysterious. Oh, hi, darling. And hello, Rakoda. Welcome back. Hey, shouldn't you be lying down? Yeah, please don't push yourself. Everyone's been very kind, which has been a big help. I'll be fine. Besides, I want to hold the baby. Heh, <laughs> look at that grin. Uh, no more comfortable places in the world, eh? How can baby be so cute? I'm definitely going to make one. Not to mention, I really should set about making some baby clothes for him. And there's a name to consider. Uh, I have a lot to do. If you hadn't helped me out all, I never would have seen this moment. Thank you very much. Nothing new. I do not want to use up my Sunlight Fang here. Those are really hard to get. I have to kill really strong enemies just to get any of those. Everyone seems more excited than usual about this latest raid. They say true strength comes from protecting others. If so, then that's the only way to realize a weapon's true potential. At least that's what I believe. Hmm. There's someone there in the corner. No, that's Meralda. Whoa, they grew a lot. Is it based on the enemies I kill? Is this time. Somehow they have nine now. Horn times nine. Hey, listen to this. Queena got too excited. She was almost attacked by a primordial that popped out of nowhere. I managed to help her out, but she's like a magnet for trouble. We were able to defeat all the beasts again. I hope we can defeat Oceanus the same way. It's huge and lives under water though. Even if we find its habitat, victory won't come easy. I'm sure I don't have to tell you, but all our abilities will be put to the test in the fight against Oceanus. Let's watch each other's backs and fight hard out there. When I've done my work here, I'm planning to start training again. Ah, uh, Adol. I was informing the captain about Allison just now. I'm sure he'll be very happy. Hmm, I imagine he would have been surprised. I never would have expected a child to be born on this island. What a wondrous miracle indeed. Hmm. Okay. And I better give Euron... The Roman Badge. I will present your honor with the Roman Badge as a gift. Huh? Mm, this is... It was on the beach. I, hmm, I see. If this washed ashore, then that must mean... My colleague must have been killed by the Nameless River before he boarded. If only I had arrived a little bit sooner. What was he like? You're buying in my business too? 
He was- Paul was a very skilled man, but he was soft. He always said that if I don't act more friendly toward others, I'll have a hard go of things. He got promoted and then passed away soon after. Damn fool. In many ways, I should give this to those he left behind. Thank you, Adol. Max out approval. And it seems he has one more thing to say. Oh yeah, I've got something kind of annoying on my plate. Hey, come here a sec. You're being recruited. <sighs> Sprung a leak. Figured as much. Some damn fool must have slacked off. I'll have to take the whole thing apart to fix it. <sighs> Hand me the second one to the left at all. You've got skilled Great. hands. Just doing what's gotta be done is all. Rom still got a lot of dangerous criminals on the loose. As soon as I get back home, I'm gonna hit the streets and start making some arrests. The horrors that took place here won't ever happen again in Rom. Not on my watch. The sword card roller's still here. Damn right. I'm counting on you most of all, at all. Might need that sword arm of yours in the near future. You know, I sort of feel like talking to myself. When that happens, I'm liable to let some secrets slip. I've been all kinds of places, and this ain't my first brush of strange happenings. While investigating some of those happenings, an interesting pattern started to emerge. Hysteria, Felgana, the Salceta region. Huh, all of these places are uh, places at all adventured in. The situations there are said to have been resolved by a red-haired swordsman and his companions. And I don't know if this is true or not, but supposedly this guy, whoever he is, was last sighted in Xandria. We'll never get details on them till maybe they make a Canaan version of Ease 5. <laughs> so the non Canaan version. The top brass in the Roman mm. Navy are said to be very interested in this man. Non Canaan version might sh at least give some general story. Whoever this guy is, he might be making some new friends pretty soon. Yeah, Ernst is going to sink us. Thanks for a heads up. Huh. What are you talking about? Anyway, right now our top priority is getting off this island. I should get back to work. Okay. We already had this conversation. Do I have enough map percentage? No, I need 2% more. I should also probably deal with Master Kong while I have the chance. <laughs> Next I'll do it for you, blue haired girl. That's what he said. <laughs> hmm, he must need me then. Offer Master Kong a right mango? Eternian versus Giant Primate. Who will win? Unfortunately, he's kind of high up and unhittable at that point. That kind of sucks. Okay, gotta wait for him to punch so I can counter him. As long as I maintain my SP, things should be good. Donna is pretty fast, but she doesn't have a whole lot of hit points or defense. Uh oh. Ah, crap. I need to look for opportunities to do normal attacks at the very least. That way I can keep up my buff. Oh, I mentioned it stunned him. But not that time. Oh, crap. The good thing is, if you run far away enough, he can't hit you with that. Of course, it's better to try to counter him.
keep countering. Ah, that last hit, hit go, doesn't have a very wide range. It mostly goes forward. And somehow I did not hit the coconut at all during the fight. That's actually kind of amazing, don't you think? Oh no. Can't interrupt this one. Run! Good thing there's a lot of space here. Otherwise it'd be pretty much impossible to dodge that one. His dragon wave. Alright, time to finish you off with a souped up extra skill. Time to slay you like he did so many of those sanctuary crypt bosses. And then I finish him off with a normal skill. And my SP is still draining. Whew, somehow I managed to win. If I'm remembering correctly, I'm supposed to harness my power like so. Donna learned Dragon Wave. How much range does it have? Hmm, looks like I figured it out on my own. Master says, great job. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. You guys are really talented. Helping you out makes me feel good. Huh, that's awesome, everyone. Master hardly ever gives out compliments. <laughs> what an honor. Hmm, it truly is. I wonder when Adol and I will receive training. Hmm, I better start preparing. Master says, I expect great things from the rest of you. We'll meet again on the deadliest mountain top. Hey, see you then. Master Kong's approval increased. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed watching Donna beat Master Kong with no damage, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.